Alright guys, Thanksgiving's over. I told you I'd have me a pickups video. I hoped. And I did. Um, went to a couple different stores in Indiana. Went stopped at a store in Illinois. Did some online shopping. Uh, did all kinds of sales. Um, spent a lot of money, as always. So, any collector did tell you that you don't spend money when you get start getting up into the higher price games. But, as it goes, uh, I'll start going over the stores and where I got stuff at and what I got. Um, before anything really started, I did some pre-Black Friday sales. Um, out. Hold on, we'll, we'll get to the we'll get to the pre-Black Friday sales. I, I I'm gonna hold that off because I don't want to move this out of the way yet. I don't know what I was thinking there. All right, we're gonna start off and um, we'll show you GameStop. I'll do these kind of out of order. All right, GameStop. Um, I was messing around with the online orders and stuff, and what started off was is I wanted to get Diablo three, the Eternal Collection. I really didn't want to pay $60. I've been wanting to try this game out. So I wanted it on the Xbox One. And um, Best Buy was sold out of both Xbox One and PS4 really quick. I saw GameStop was open at 3 o'clock on Thanksgiving Day. So I rushed over there, grabbed this. While I was there, I also picked up um, Detroit Become Human. It was the same price it was at Best Buy. I've been wanting to try this game out. Um, ever since it came out, and I just never wanted to pay full price. And also, some of you that have seen my other other um, videos and stuff, see that I have a tree up in my game room. Didn't have nothing on the top. I was waiting in line, saw this for 30% off. Thought, hey, just something small I can add. Put it on top of my tree. Um, that's the GameStop pickups. Uh, oh, let's see, we'll wait for that, uh, let's do, let's do the Goodwill stuff. Well, we went around a couple Goodwills Friday afternoon, because we really didn't go to the main Black Friday stores, and like I said, I'm not getting out in the crowds no more with my illness and stuff I've had here recently. Um... It's just not healthy for me. So, I went around a couple good wills. Um, picked up an RF switch at a Goodwill. Um, it was for a dollar. And I figure I find Nintendos all the time for a buck. It's just cheaper than me trying to find it on eBay if I need to replace it. Also, this was half off. It was um, $3 for Smash or Splashdown on the Xbox. Looks like a... Um, Kind of like a wave racer type, jet ski type game. Figured for three dollars, it was complete, in good shape. Figured I did it. Then um, they just rolled out a fresh cart, and I saw this. It was like a little Mario tr trick it, trick it thing. Uh, spin it. Get what um, see what the slots have on the brick. Something something you need add an add on myself. It was only 69 cents. I mean, I'll get the sticker off, make it look nice. But as you see, it's neat. Some to add. Stopped at another Goodwill. Saw this. It was $5. Um, it was also marked in the half off, so it ended up being $2.50. But um, it has the remote in it, has the box, didn't have the game. And basically, all I really want for it, I've got a game, I've got the zapper, but I don't have my original box, so I'm just going to add it to my shelf, just leave it exactly how it is, probably never going to open it, because I've got two other zapper guns if I ever want to use them. But hey, for the price I paid, it was nice to put on the shelf. Alright. Uh, Alright, add a cut away a minute, move things around, but alright, um... Like I did back in the summer, and I will leave a link for my summer videos back in the um, in the down in the description because I had some massive pickups during the summer. Anybody wants to go back and see it, but um, I stopped at 
the game exchange in Anderson, Indiana. Guys were real helpful, just like they were in the summer. Love communicating with them. Um, they had a sale. Buy one, get one 50% off. Um, I got all the items I had. I got war. Buy one, get one 50% off, except for um, one item. And there's a story behind that. And you'll see why when you see what the item is. But um, I'm going to start off. Um, they had some Amiibos there. Stuff I didn't have and stuff I've been wanting to collect. So we'll start off. Um, you got Link from Breath of the Wild. Or no, it's actually Smash Brothers Link. Um, Zelda from Breath of the Wild though. Link, the horse rider from Breath of the Wild. The... I know I'm going to mess this up. The Boop, Book, Bublin, or whatever it is. I never could figure out how to pronounce her name. It's, its name. Got that one. Um, Arbosa. I uh, picked that one up. Then also from Breath of the Wild, I picked up, and this was a steal, I thought, because everywhere here in Missouri wants 30 bucks for this. He had it marked at 1350 So, picked up the Guardian. I like I just like the way that thing looks. It's neat. Then also it wasn't a Breath of the Wild one, but I picked up the Bayonetta 2, one where she, I got two guns. But those were the amiibos I picked up. Didn't think that was a bad haul. Still was buy one, get one fifty percent off. Love Black Friday sales. I really never I'd actually never been to um the small business sales for Black Friday. I'm going to have to start checking these out. Right, we'll get to these here in a minute. This is what I picked up in Illinois just before I got home. This is the stack of games from them. And I will set this game here off to the side because that's the one with a story behind it. All right. All these here are um, PS1 mom boxes. Um, I'm slowly but surely going to start collecting and trying to get all the ps1 long boxes um definitely don't have to go back to the store i just found today man do they have a haul but i'll, I'll go back to that story but. uh picked up chess master 3d on the you know playstation one long box picked up slam and jam 96 featuring magic and cream picked up high octane Actually, I think I had this on the Saturn, so, yeah. Um, I know I'm going to butcher this. Uh, Killik, the DNA Imperative. And, man, their cases were busted open and everything. I'm going to buy some more replacement cases. Probably a couple weeks from now. Um, picked up Air Combat. Like I said, these are all buy one, get one 50% off, so I got great deals. And their prices were cheap to begin with. Total Eclipse Turbo. And the last one in that store that was Longbox, Ridge Racer. Ridge Racer, folks, was only 5 bucks to begin with. I mean, their prices are great at that store, if you can find the stuff. Um, some games I picked up in their cases or other places, places in the store are um, Fear Effect on the PlayStation. I've never played this. I keep hearing a lot about it. Um, it's got a crack in one part of the case. It's really filthy. I'm either going to clean it up or replace it somehow. Um, picked up the yellow, the yellow label Metroid. Uh, my wife wanted this. Don't know if I'll play it, but she wanted the Wii Play Motion. Likes playing all the mini games and that stuff. Picked up some more GameCube games. I picked up um, Star Fox Assault. Extreme G Racing 3. Did not know there was a third one. I like both the other two on the um, 64, so. Picked up GoldenEye Rogue Agent. Picked up Fireblade. Then the one game that the guy got, guy um, 
I asked him to get this game out of the cabinet because when I saw it, I started laughing and I was like, wait a minute. I said, there's no way the price on this game could be right. I looked it up on price charting. I was like, okay, it says $81 what it's worth. It was marked for 20 So I kind of I kind of stumbled around the store a little bit. I go back to it. I asked him, I said, all right. I said, I want the Contra Force out of the cabinet. And he looked at me and goes, that is marked wrong. I said, then you tell me what the price is. And if it's cheap enough, I'm going to get it. And the way they got their system set up is, um, in their system over there, they know what the price is that they, they bought it for. And they know what the price is that they're going to sell it for. Because I guess they, they store the prices. But he said that they must have priced it like that because they did not give much for it. He wouldn't add this to the Black Friday sale, folks, but I did get this for $20, and that was a steal. Then, um, right before we left, we were checking out. My wife noticed something up on the shelf. She goes, oh, look at that Wii U box. You know, she was looking at this. That's all that you could see on the shelf, and I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. We'll talk about that in a second. There was something else I bought there. Um... She saw this. She goes, I don't think we have that. I said, I think we do. Oh, no, no, no. The guy got it down. He goes, you know what? You can have it for free. So now I've got another 3D, the Mark, Super Mario 3D World box for the Wii U. As soon as I find me another system and two more games, I'll complete this and probably either trade it off or I might put it up there and put one side out and one side in, but... I honestly didn't know if I had it or not until I got home just here recently. So, uh, I really need to make a new game tour video and sh show off everything, which I plan on doing in December, just for my benefit, to see what all I've collected. Because this room is really growing. But my wife almost had to remind me that I'd almost forgotten something else that I picked up there. Something I have never owned personally. He had a deal on it. Their console, any console you wanted to buy there was, um, I don't need all that stuff today. Um, any console you want to buy there was the price they gave you, and you got the first two games 50% off. So, I picked up for 55 bucks. they had it, it was what they had it on sale for, I picked up a Sega Master System. It only came with one controller. And it came with a light gun. Um, I've never owned one of these. I've always been interested in trying it. So I'm going to get it out and probably use it. Clean. We've we've only been home for an hour. Came home, unpacked, used the restroom. I'm shooting the video so I can put everything up. But got this and I ended up getting four games for it. Just give me the stack. Um, it, he had Double Dragon coming with it. Great game. Can't go wrong. Double Dragon. Um, I picked up Maze Hunter 3D. I love anything to do with mazes or anything, so I'm wanting to try this out. Picked up Rampage. Can't go wrong with good old school Rampage. And I've never played any of these, so I picked up um, Alex Kidd, The Lost Star. That's it. I've never played them. I want to try them. That'll be interesting to try. Never had a, I've never had a um, master system, even when I owned my little store that I've tried to get going back in the day. Never had one, so that'll be interesting for me to mess around with. Um, did a few online sales. Um, I know some of you guys, and I'll put the links in the back for those too. Maybe some of you haven't watched them, but um. Starlink, I'm really fond of this game. Really enjoyed it. I bought it on the Switch. I had the starter kit. I bought all the box, and then I bought all the ships, all the weapons, all the pilots. I realized later somebody told me that there was a Target exclusive and there was a GameStop exclusive. I went out and I purchased both of them. But what you also don't realize is this ship here, you don't get this ship unless you buy either the Xbox One or the PS4 version. Plus, this game is also different because it doesn't have the Star Fox in it. So eventually I'm going to try going through and playing through on this 
version here too, but I wanted to get the last pilot and the last ship add to my collection. Now I can officially say I have every Starlink piece except I think I don't have the PS4 game. I don't have the PS4 controller holder, but I don't plan on buying all that. I'm happy with just the Xbox and the Switch versions. Also, um, I ordered on last Sunday, I ordered Carnival Games. My wife wanted to play it on the Switch, so we got I got our Carnival Games. I don't know how many of you did it or not, but I bought myself two of the 128 gig um, micro SD cards. One for a Switch and one for a digital camera I'm planning on buying here soon to make better videos. Because right now I still do everything off my S9 Galaxy phone. Then on the way back home, I decided to order, and um, for, I think it was 40 bucks they were selling this for, the Bayonetta 1 and 2 combo on the Switch, $20 off. I've also ordered a few other things off Best Buy and other websites, but for the Black Friday sales, I said they had sold so many, they're not supposed to be here until late next week or something, so I think I ordered uh, Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door off eBay, got a great deal. Um, Aaron, oh yeah, I ordered the two burnouts for nine bucks a piece. One for the Xbox One, one for the PS4. Wanted both of them complete my collection. I have every burnout ever made on any system, so really enjoy the burnout games. So I'm adding those to my collection. Now let's talk about this store. People around Missouri have been telling me. Some of the game collectors have been telling me about a store that I had never heard of. It's pretty close to the Illinois-Missouri border, so I will be going back. Um, it's called Grumpy Bob's Emporium. And let me tell you, folks, it, it's not that you're looking for the deal of the lifetime going to this store. Because their prices are pretty much right on with what price charting will tell you. But their stuff is high quality. Their stuff is complete. They they will tell you if it's not. You can look at it. They will buff and filter every disc you have. So, if you're looking for the rare stuff, the expensive stuff, let me tell you. I walked in. There were three shelves, double stacked almost. And they had it in the back. They had stuff turned sideways on the shelves. Had stuff stacked in front of them of Saturn games. And I'm talking Saturn games I haven't seen even at game cons. Um, they had more Sega CD games than I've ever seen in my life. Master System games like crazy. They had an Atari Jaguar with a bunch of games. I, I've i never seen a Jaguar in a game store. Um, they had rooms and rooms of... Um, Action figures still in the boxes. All different. You name it. They had comics. They had pops. They had. All, you know. They had DVDs. Blu-rays. They have import um, games. They have. It's it just so much li to list. I walked in. And I was like. What the. I was expecting this to be a little hole in the wall shop. That didn't have very much. Honestly. It blew my mind. I can't wait to go back and see what I can find. But let's get with what I did find and did find. If I wouldn't have spent all this money that I'd spent at these other stores, I would have had a lot bigger pile. But I'm limited on my my funds at this point. So um, their sale today was buy three get one free. So the free game I hadn't had time to take the stickers off. Like I said, just got home. My free game was um, Abe's Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey, or Exodus, sorry. Um, I've been looking for this. Uh, can't go wrong with this game. It was a fun game back in the day. Um, this is the only game on the PS1 Classic that I wanted to play. I did not own, so now I do. I'm happy with that. I picked up some more long box games, and... Like, these here, I know these are long boxes. I know they were cheap. 
but the conditions of them. I had to replace all the plastics and the ones that are cardboard. The cardboard's peeling off. I just try to glue it down again. I got repairs to do. I got cleaning to do on these. <coughs> Sorry. These, like I bought Revolution X featuring Aerosmith. I mean, complete, manual, perfect. Still got the styrofoam in it. The way their games look there are unbelievable. And if they don't look pristine, they lower the price. A buddy of mine was asking me about a... I won't tell the name because I don't want somebody to go out and buy it because he was still thinking about it. He was looking at a Saturn game. And one copy was $100 and one copy was 120 And I looked at the differences of them. One was faded. It was case was cracked. You know, he had a manual, but it just was in bad shape. So, um, another one. I've got this on the Saturn. Now I've got this version. I wanted to get loaded. So, got loaded on the PS1. Long box. Never heard of this one. Try to pick it up. Um, Skeleton Warriors. Not sure exactly what it is. Uh, they just look. So, they just look sometimes some interesting game. So I figured I'd pick it up. Then my wife found a box in the back. They had manuals back there. They said um, I forget what the prices were. Uh, Three dollars, I think, per manual, or five for ten. As most of you know, I'm going for a complete 64 collection, and there's still manuals that I'm missing to the boxes, or just, I'm missing the period. So, I picked up Dark Riff, Midway's Greatest Hits, Rugrats, Sca Rugrats Scavenger Hunt, Bugs Life, Monopoly, Bass Hunter, one I didn't have for the Super, Tasmania, Rush 2, Ready to Rumble Boxing, the first one, and Arma, Armarinas. But yeah, like I said, I'll leave links to my other videos that pertain to these, and um, I really suggest you check out local video game stores, Black Friday sales, even this, this was a small business Saturday sale that I went to. Um, I was just lucky because we, we got there and they were only open for like another two hours, but hey, folks, you know, if you don't get out there and look, you ain't going to find what you're looking for. If you're a collector, look, try. Sometimes you got to pay near price charting. I understand that. Try not to pay over. I try not to. I, if I'm somewhere and it's right there, and I don't, and I can I pay two, three dollars more, that's fine because I don't want to look for it no more. But hey, tell me some of your Black Friday finds. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll catch you here real soon with some more video content.